is home visiting family, but I'm I'm not sure if his computer is that he took with him is if he even has a computer with him. I think he might have a desktop that, you know. Yeah. Probably not transfer well. Um, and then I haven't really heard too Uh, I'll try this guy. Um. Um, do do this? No. One issue that I've been having is that so many of the Pokemon that I like are poison or grass types that it's just like I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing that's good against both of those. Yeah. I don't really. No, that's I've not found a lot of grass types that I like. Like I, I kind of feel like grass isn't great. Really? Yeah, I mean, 
it's a basic type, so like it's gonna have a lot of weaknesses, but like the ability to status, um, they usually have a, a relatively high amount of like life steal moves and all this other stuff. So it's. I think at least with the life steal stuff, I'm just not as familiar enough with all the options that are there for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got the basic stuff like, oh, just throw down a leech seed as long as they don't swap out or, it's, you know, it's their last Pokemon there. They can't really get rid of it unless it's something crazy like a Staryu or something that has rapid spin. Yeah. Or um, you have things like Mega Drain, Giga Drain. Uh, if you have a... Um, shoot, what's... Saul's Buck? leech horn just mm. kind of has a lot of different abilities in, the, in that regard and like most of them get some sort of like powder that does status effects and things so like you can set up some fairly nice stuff yeah but i also just like the designs honestly which I definitely, I know is something that's subjective, so. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's the same for poison types. It's just that for the most part, their designs are, they look more cool, interesting than like fairy types or you know, something like that. Like they have a very intimidating design in most cases mm -hmm. compared to other monsters so, or Pokemon that so that means I mean that's why they're used for uh, the villain team so much right? right yeah Stunky is a work of art yeah that, that one is definitely <laughs> one that I don't care for <laughs> yeah. Toxapex man what a wall just you're not going to kill anybody oh, quickly, yeah. but you're going to annoy everyone <laughs> yeah. the entire time. <laughs> it's great. I got, I've seen it survive some ridiculous stuff. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get away from using Azumarill for like every raid because it's just good. <laughs> it's just so good. It's... It's so easy. You don't have to think or use brain. You just belly drum and then play rough. And that's it. <laughs> just nuke. Mm -hmm. And I've not really found anything to buy. I mean, there's lots of ways it can go wrong, for sure, but... Yeah, I feel like as Moreau has gotten just better as the games have gone on, like the yeah. introduction of the fairy typing, I think, has benefited greatly, but then also... Like the moves that it just has access to and the accessibility now. Yeah. It didn't used to be all that accessible. I really liked with this game that in the early areas they just put a bunch of wild baby Pokemon running around rather than yeah. like making the baby ones ones you have to like intentionally seek out. Because like if that's the case, you're not getting them till middle of the game, and then you're definitely not gonna use them. It's yeah, you're an, handicapping yourself at that yeah, point. It's, it's like a just, challenge run. It's an annoying, like, checkbox for completing your Pokedex at that point rather than being just part of the progression. Yeah. Which makes I do sense, think that because then, like, a lot of them were added later. They weren't originally in, like, evolution mm -hmm. lines. But making them wild was a much better choice, I think. Oh, yeah. I do think that, the, aside from some serious performance issues um it is a stronger design than a lot of the previous pokemon games um and i've heard good i haven't finished the story but i've heard good things about the story compared to most pokemon games so yeah i liked the story quite a bit and the like the overall experience of the game is good it's just like you said like it it was really lacking in performance mm -hmm. Which is a shame, I hope. And <laughs> probably the other big shame is that, like, there's a strong chance they're not going to learn anything from it because it was, like, record-breaking sales. Yeah. It's like, oh, we can totally get away with this. 
Yeah, I mean, for being such a huge IP, the uh, the Pokemon team has never been exceptionally big or like record breaking in terms of like their capabilities. Yeah. So I mean, I'm hoping that they do eventually, but even just making the small, like usually incremental increases has been pretty much all you could expect from them yeah. in the past. All right, we should probably move on. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, a quail. Is there anything in particular that you're like hunting for on this? Um, you know, I started the stream in such a uh, frenzy. I don't know. <laughs> um, I still have the thing on this. We're on normal. I still have the thing to try and kill the boss with my like supply drop. Oh, I okay. That's yeah, be doable on this run, but. Ah, uh, yeah, that. It's gonna be quite a bit of health. Um. That's one I would probably have to, like, set it to easy and turn on some artifacts or something. Yeah. I mean, we could always get some more of the, uh, relics unlocked, right? Yeah. going back to the, the Pokemon discussion, is there a specific like type that you tend to gravitate towards or is it just kind of I really like fire types. Thanks here. Okay. Just like thematically. Mm -hmm. Um but I I think my two of my favorites from this game, like the new ones, are uh Clodzire and Palmot. Or like Palmy, Palmo, that evolution line. Because they, they are just another Pikachu clone, but it, I think it's interesting that they added in fighting type for that. Okay, yeah. I did use um, the Alola, or not Alola. Um, I don't even know the name of this region, honestly. <laughs> Paldean? Uh, Paldean, yeah. Paldean Quagsire, or... Clodzire. Clod Clodzire, yeah. For a little bit, but I kind of migrated out of it um, to yeah. put another grass type on my team. <laughs> it, <laughs> it really is just a problem. <laughs> he's very tanky. But it seems really like. good, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I had a. I didn't I mean, find a lot of like poison moves that were actually good for him. Or no, that's not true. Sludge Wave was good. Um, I think I actually struggled with like ground type moves that he could use, but he also knew Yawn, which I really like. Mm, yeah. Yawn is good for him because he's tanky, so like waiting an extra turn isn't really a problem for him, and it doesn't have the terrible accuracy of hypnosis. Yeah, yeah. You just have to wait that turn, which really isn't all that big of an issue. As, can he learn protect? Because you could easily do uh, yawn protect and then just be <laughs> fine. I don't know, but probably not. Yeah. Um... Uh. Yeah, that's definitely one of the reasons I like. Uh, usually, poison types are fairly defensive. Like, sure, they're very weak against psychic, but I feel like psychic they're Pokemon usually pretty don't come up as often anymore. Like, they were definitely like the one of the strongest types in older games, but I feel like they're not oh, yeah. as much of a thing now. Yeah, Gen One, Gen Two, exceedingly strong, ridiculously strong, really. Um, but then every generation after that has kind of reined them in, so they're not quite as 
egregious as they used to be, but they're still very much a glass cannon speedster usually that can at least take one Pokemon with them. Yeah. Well, and then you've got, like, the dragons were overpowered in, like, 4 and 5, and then they brought in the fairy typing with X and Y. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's definitely... At this point, there's so many Pokemon, it's crazy to even, you know, try to balance anything. <laughs> yeah. Especially if they introduce new moves and mm. new new typing combinations and all this other stuff. So, I mean, admittedly, as much as we, people can rag on uh, Pokemon team, like, the balance is definitely something that they have to keep in mind when they're even designing the game. Yeah. It's crazy to me, too, because, like, people who... Not even people who are competitive, but people who just, like, get into, like, the weeds at, like, the high levels of play. It's like, they're playing a totally different game. I'm, I'm sorry, I kind of wasn't able to hear the very end of that sentence just because <laughs> the sounds of the game were too too high. Uh, you said... The people who, like, play it, play the game at, like, the highest level or whatever they're just like playing an entirely different game yeah it's like the game or the things that don't really matter to the average player are like oh yeah this is broken you you should always use this it's like hey, yeah what <laughs> well it's like they like entry level play is just like oh type advantage and then the stuff they're doing it's like type advantage like almost doesn't matter at all yeah. So it's it is pretty pretty wild what they can do. Like, I'm sure you've heard of uh, like God Rat and stuff like that, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's like you can do all these ridiculous things, and you just have to know what you're doing. Um, do I just completely screw up my build by getting a a moon item? Do it. And I don't know what this one is. It's been interesting because I've I've ended up following a bunch of like very in-depth Pokemon YouTubers and stuff now, and uh, like just from copying builds and stuff that they recommend for raids, I've learned a lot about kind of the, or not le like reverse engineered a lot of the thinking that goes into it. Yeah. So that's been kind of fun. And the shiny hunting is fairly accessible and not too tedious. Just, yeah. Like, so it, it's reasonable. Shoot, my sister, just playing through the game, has found, like, six shinies. Oh, wow. Just not even doing anything special. Just That's awesome. She plays it a lot, yeah. but, like, That's... she'd never even gotten a no normal shiny up until that point. Yeah. I, I think... so. I think you and said it before, and gen. I think you're right. Just being able to see all of the wild Pokemon without like having to encounter them individually really makes them seem yeah. more common. And there are some wild ones that you really have to pay attention to, but yeah. for the most part, even if you know just like, hey, this is what this should look like, will make a huge difference. Yeah. You can spot that immediately. It's amazing how much like you don't even have to do it for that long when you're like hunting them in an outbreak or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. Your eyes just start to play tricks on you. Yeah. Oh, did you start the boss? Yep. Nice. Ukulele! Did you kill the boss? I did, but I'm cheating with the Moon Eye. <laughs> oh, okay. There's several chests over here that... Or, well, at least a couple. I'll keep, uh... I mean... It'll take a minute before, uh... It fully charges, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I've found... Four shinies, just, like, naturally, and then I've, like, specifically gone out and hunted for two others. Okay. Got, got a shiny Hexorus, and then I got a shiny Palmot, because I do like that one, and it's shiny and pretty cool, too. 
Nice. Yeah, it can be really, really nice to be able to run around with like a, <laughs> a shiny and just like, yes, I've. You see them all I mean, the even time if it's in raids. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. People like to show them off, of course. So it's like. No, yeah, that makes sense. Every other raid, one person's got a shiny. Yeah, I, I haven't even played in the online. Uh, I played with my sister just briefly, but she had already completed the game by the time that I actually got around <laughs> to doing anything with her. So it's like she was just running around showing me a few different things here and there. I was like, I, I just need to catch Pokemon. I yeah. need to battle these people. <laughs> uh, the good news is people online, like they don't have, for the online trading, you have to like enter a come up with a link code to enter to like match up with the person you're trying to trade with. So it's like mm -hmm. eight, eight digits and it's broken into like two chunks. But people have like sort of banded together on the internet and used that link code as a way to link up with people you don't know who are looking for the same thing you're looking for. So basically oh, okay. you, you input the number of like the dex number of the Pokemon you want and the one that you're trading for it. And it'll link you with someone who's after the same thing. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I yeah. wouldn't have even really thought to do that, but... So I already got the third starter from that. I'm waiting to trade Kaylin for the one that she has. Oh, okay, yeah. And I mean, how easy is it to get eggs in this game? Oh, it's very I've... easy. Oh, okay. You just, so for the eggs, I, it was quite a while where I was like, wait, I haven't encountered a daycare yet. And then yeah. I read up on it and you just... Uh, Is there anything we can buy out here? There's a couple out this way. Okay. Um, um, but so what do you do? You, with it? you get two Pokemon that are compatible. So like, you know, just a ditto and the one you want an egg from. And you make them the ones in your party and then you have a picnic and then you wait around for a little bit and then you check on the basket at the end of the picnic table and eventually there will just be an egg in there. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just have to check compatibility. Yeah. Dittos are kind of fun to encounter because they do actually disguise themselves in the overworld. Just oh, like walk well, that's up, cool. Walk up to a Meowth and all of a sudden it turns into a ditto. <laughs> yeah, I do like that design. Um, kind of like what they did in Pokemon Go and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. The fun part is if you find a raid that's a ditto, whoever the host is can just bring like a really lame Pokemon and the ditto will transform into that and then everyone else can kick its butt. <laughs> oh, hey, here's a level 12 Pidgey. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah, I'm good. Also, while you're playing, if you notice, there'll be some Pokemon that are, like, uh, not actually shiny, but, like, sparkly, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, they go yeah. off a beacon as if they were a raid, and then you go to fight them, and they just automatically terrestrialize. Those ones are guaranteed to have three to four perfect IVs. Oh, well, that's cool. That's a good way to get Pokemon that are guaranteed to have good stats. I was, I fought a, what is it, the, the coffin dog, like the evolution of it. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but yeah. Um, that was shiny like that, and I, I got it down, <laughs> broke its, uh, uh, terrestrializing thing, but I, for, I used leech seed not thinking about it, oh. and it, it broke out of the only Pokeball I was able to throw. So oh, no. it's like, yeah. It was within my grasp of my. Well, I the good news is those ones respawn in the same place. Okay. So IGN has like an interactive map that can tell you where everything is, depending on nice. how willing you are to go for certain spoilers. I know Cerebi.net usually has a lot of good Pokemon info. Mm -hmm. 
IGN, like I realized recently, has really upped their game on their website. Their website's Guides. really nice now. Um, a lot of like open world games, they have interactive maps where you can, if you like make an account and log in, you can track your progress and like check off collectibles and stuff. Oh, well that sounds actually pretty nice. Yeah, I love using it on my, like just having my tablet sitting there while I'm playing. I can just check stuff off and find things. Oh, here's some bands if you want. I've been picking up some pretty good items. I know you like those ones. Uh, yeah, hold on. Come up that way. There's... Oh, do you need crit glasses? Sure. Yeah. I'll, I... uh, I'll trade you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just picked up the scythe that heals from the... From crits, so that would be nice. perfect. There's still a lot of like containers to buy over here. Oh yeah. Do I go chance it? I started out the game uh, with a well, a happini that I evolved a couple times into Blissey. Um, and I knew it was like super tanky and really wanted to try and make it work, but I just like I wasn't using it well. <laughs> I don't think uh -oh. it just wasn't working out. Yeah, it some of those um, some of the Pokemon are kind of hard to use unless you have like a team built for them. Yeah. Where did you say the glasses were? Oh, there it is. Okay. I just pinged it. Yep. And you can, you could buy that if uh, you have the money for it. Nice. I think this would be My hard just slightly to... better for you. Where? The magazine. Wait, where did? Oh, you got it. Okay. I lost the glasses again. <laughs> where were they? Uh, oh, um. They're right on the other side of that wall right there. Okay. Ah. Wow, I would not have thought to look back here. Yeah, I like that my R automatically pro or procs the uh, band. It's nice. Yeah. Stealth kit. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, I think oh. I already have one, so you should grab it. All right. But think of the scrap you could make with it. <laughs> oh, don't touch me. Oh, I already have an equipment that I'm using. Yeah, I, like I shouldn't that have given about that. It's good to see what's in there, just in case. Yeah, that's true. Mine's the lunar um, oh. tonic thing. Oh, hey, a band. The one that massively increases your stats, but then I think it debuffs you after the fact. Oh. Uh. So I, I pretty much only want to use it for the boss. Found the teleporter. Nice. Um, oh, the other way is closed off, huh? Yeah, looks like it. I think that's it. Nothing Do I mess here. up even more of my build with more lunar items? Yes. All right. It's fine. We'll do it. I don't know what this does, but it seems to do nothing. But I don't. I don't know what that means. 
And the other one is, uh, I lost, lose all of my, well, half of my health. But doubles my damage. So I could theoretically just instantly kill myself. Where's the other boss? Oh, it's behind the door. Wow. Vandalier. We're getting such good boss drops. I got the urn. Nice. Produces all stats when not under the effect of my tonic. Uh oh. What was that? Almost got iced. What is here? Oh, equipment. Yeah, I could I could probably just instantly kill myself with that that <laughs> shrine of blood. <laughs> wow. So anticlimactic when there's no boss. I know. Gotta sit around and twiddle our thumbs. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't seen... There were like three th three 3D printers in the, at the very first map, but I haven't seen any past that. Mm -hmm. Seen some grinders I probably should have used, but oh well. This next one for sure. <laughs> I'll definitely regret it here. The ground's temperature begins to rise? What in the world does that mean? Huh. I don't... I, I might just straight up die. What's happening? Oh, are we up? Hmm. I'm not doing great. Why are there so many Lemurians? Maybe that's what the thing about the temperature means. Is the ground hurting us? I got some health here. I don't think so. Okay. There's the teleporter. It's a pretty quick find. It figures that the time that we would have been able to complete Foy's um, mission to unlock. Uh, just maybe. I definitely went below 50% health upon arrival here. Oh yeah, that's true. Which is when I would have been carrying it, ideally. <laughs> A lot of money already. Oh, more Lemurians. Oh no, it's outside the circle. Crap. What is? The, the red chest. I tried the to hack it and place my beacon poorly. Oh no. Well, it's barely too far away. Uh, looks like 3D printers for meat and maracas. Oh boy. Perhaps my favorite items. Do you want uh, sprint speed? Because sure. I think I've already I'm got slow. three. Oh boy. Has there been anything but Lemurian spawn? No. Maybe that's oh, what the hot ground means? Yeah, I guess so. The first one I saw was a big boy who was fiery. There's a shrine of the mountain. I'm not... We could probably do it, honestly. Yeah. We. It seems like we're both pretty stacked. So far. Oh boy. Oh, I, I wasted my money on turrets. <laughs> Give me things to kill.
Man, I just keep getting energy drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm up to three now. Four. There's a decent amount of money over here. Oh. What exploded? Was that your item or something? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I have the, like, Tron disc. I'm not sure exactly how it works. That okay. might be what's doing it. I had to guess. Yeah, that's probably what was it. Because I think after a certain amount of damage, you just sends out the disc to do more damage. Oh boy, another stealth kit. Oh, you already got it? Okay. So many movement items. Oh boy, a banner. Again. Uh, uh, that's just how it goes. Um, yep. That is 4,000. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, I was getting close, but now I've spent all of it. I think the only place I haven't looked is like up here. Oh, here's a scrapper. Oh. Um, I should probably do that while it's here. The... The one with gasoline might be worth it. Oh, there's a printer for it? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna get rid of all these energy drinks. <laughs> Stand back. I have goat hoofs, they're probably better. Yeah. <clears throat> I scrap. Man, gasoline's white, isn't it? Yeah. This. see the printer? Um, it was over in that area somewhere. Okay. Ah. Where's the maracas? Um, I think it was kind of like over on that. Ah. Yep. Thank you. Probably ready. I'm ready. How's your money looking? Uh, halfway there. There's a cloaked chest? Excuse me? Ooh. It was just a... The only reason I saw it was because I... Like, it activated. It was right here, and you can't even see it, even when it's opened. Huh. Um, Maybe those so are... So in here... You know, when you had the scanner equipment, there was a lot of stuff that would pop up that I could never actually find. I wonder if that's what those are. Yeah, that would make sense. Do you have the 4,200? Nope. All right. I well, we might as well... Oh. 
we might as well start the boss because yeah. we'll probably have enough on the end of that. Yep. Care of most of them. I've been working on the same one the whole time. I got too ambitious. Oh! <laughs> that breath attack is no joke. It's really hard to gauge the distance on it. Yeah. Dang. All right. Well, that's fine. I wasn't super into the the bandit setup. Mm. I'm sure it's really good if you know what you're doing, but I just like the huge mobility that the Huntress has. And... Yeah. Um, are we doing... Should we swap to easy to... Yeah. Okay. Alright, we can do it. All right? Sure. <laughs> Alrighty. You know, I always rag on the quail, but once I lose it, I do kind of miss it. Yeah. Like, one of them isn't really bad. Like, it's it actually helps the low mobility um, characters quite a bit. Um, it's not super useful for the Huntress. Um, but... Like everyone else, yeah. Especially the melee characters. Yeah. Like just the ability, you lose a little bit of upward mobility, but that's usually a, an all right thing for the most part. It pairs well with the energy drink because it's nice when you aren't jumping, you're still sprinting and so you're still going fast. Yeah. Gotta go fast. Sanic fast. Hon honestly, the the whip with the Huntress is ridiculously <laughs> funny. Because you just... You don't really ever have to stop sprinting, so... It works out pretty well. Yeah. There's someone else who's able to attack while sprinting, but I don't remember who it is. Is it the... No, it's not the I think with the engineer, um, you can technically charge his attack while you're sprinting, but you're, you have to, like, time it weird, because you're not technically supposed to be able to. Yeah. It might be the mercenary. No, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Hmm. Yeah. Let's take it. Oh boy, you can choose between a banner, fireworks, or a random item. <laughs> hey, I got a brooch. That's actually really good. As long as you can keep chaining kills, the brooch is broken. Yeah. It's a brooch and... <laughs> I'll give it to you, I suppose. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it was good, but... Oh, you'll give it to me? Are you the joke police? Is that what this is? Exactly. <laughs> because everyone knows that my jokes are nothing but spectacular. Alright. Well, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, stun grenade. 
How quickly do you attack? Is my question. Not very. Is there anything on this one that you care for? Or... No. Let's, let's spin the wheel. Stun grenade. <laughs> That's... <laughs> you... It's like, how dare you uh, defy my choices? You will get one of these items. <laughs> Ready? Um, hold on, just one moment. Alright, I should be good. I'll be over there in just a moment. It looks sick. Like Wait. There is a box I don't have enough money for over here. If you, if you do, I have seventy-four. So you can definitely buy it if you so desired. Box. I'll wait until you grab it and then I'll proc the boss. Okay. Oh boy, mushrooms. Oh, you stupid... Whatever minions popped up in front of me and tanked my... Uh, sad... Like, airstrike. <laughs> Oh, there's... Oh, right, Shrine of the Mountain. Never mind. So we both get a quail and a uh, oh, a bug helper. It's kind of funny. reward. Yeah. I will still try to accidentally kill my own beetle. <laughs> oh, there's the quail. printer for a syringe. Ooh, yeah, that's really good. Too bad I only have one thing that I actually want to get rid of. Yeah. Come on, two more gold. I need it. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. A rust key. All right. 
my question is, does the key spawn a box on the map when you pick it up? Or is it something that, uh... uh I can't just drink. Dirty printer. Or is it something that can only work if, like, on a new map creation? No, I don't know. I don't think I've ever found it on the map I picked up the key. Yeah, I I agree. I don't think I've ever found it on the same map that I picked it up. So... Seems pretty useless. <laughs> It's an investment in your future. My investment would be better served if I had something like anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream. Yep. Another 3D printer for energy drink. Hmm. It's pretty wild. Don't even need a 3D printer to get yours. Nope. Enemy spawning. I know. I gotta say, as much trouble as it was to unlock uh, the alternate R ability for the Huntress is pretty, pretty awesome. That's good. It's good when it's worth it. Yeah. Do you need a feather? I wouldn't say no to a feather. I kind of have built-in ability to prevent fall damage as long as I have at least one like ability up pretty much because all of mine have some sort of like fall interrupt that's the other thing about the quail it makes me want a feather yeah Seems like you have a fungal problem. <laughs> Oof, of, I don't like any of these. Speaking of problems, uh, so my excitement for this past week was that Sunday evening we came home and our water heater was leaking. Oh! So that was fun. Um, oh we, no. We knew when we bought the house that it was super old and would need replaced. Um, it wasn't, it was actually like the pipe going out of it that was leaking and it just had a little pinhole that was like spraying into the air um it was <laughs> like right. a, an old copper pipe so it had just a hole had like corroded into it but uh did so was it an expensive fix then or be able to do it yourself um i think fixing it probably would have been cheap but we just took it as like oh, time to get a new one. Oh, all right so <laughs> we just got it replaced that's usually a pretty expensive proposition. Yeah, we were kind of mentally prepared for how much it was going to be, though. Um, yeah. The real kicker was that we're, like, in the midst of expensive chimney repairs that are oh my actually more than that. Um, but we already put the deposit down on the chimney, so we can't back out of that now. Yeah. Ouch. It's all right. It's all stuff... Uh, like, if we were smart, we would have fixed or replaced the water heater a year ago, like we probably should have. Mm. 
but still not something you want to have to yeah so i mean it it would have been like an exciting thing to have replaced a year ago but since it was like just kind of out of the blue it was not so much yeah yeah well at least it's it shouldn't be an issue for a long long time yeah because well, usually they have a lifespan of yeah six to ten yep. somewhere we did not spring for the ten year but it is it's a uh, 50 gallon the old one was 40 so that's nice um oh actually... is this the place that you said that if you weren't careful like you wouldn't be able to have two hot showers yes oh my goodness okay um, and now we can now we don't have to worry about that yeah you, you can have that if you want it okay you oh okay <laughs> we're doing it I was just Fine. about to say, do we want a mountain? And I was still for it, but I was going to confirm. All right. Ready? Are you ready to do the do? Yeah. Wait. Now I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Yay! Oh. That's definitely oh. not enough. There's one right above me. There's three right above you. I will admit, I do not have the kind of damage I did on the previous one. Me neither. Die before you do that. Yes. At least the beetles are cleaning up the little guys next to them. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Oh, one of them got stuck up there. Hmm. I can probably get that. Yeah. That's a lot of little guys. Bell. Oh, oh shoot. as I thought. Nah. We were able to handle it pretty well. And I think that's, like, we, there's really nothing out there that we need to go back for, right? Right. As far as I know. Right. I guess I could have gambled, or gambled on the um, soldier syringe, but <laughs> I probably would have lost all my, um, my important stuff. Guillotine. Ooh. Honestly, if I can scrap some stuff, I probably will for that. Bands just hmm. do everything. It's great. Oh, 
feel like I'm getting exceptional luck on the, the missile thing. Oh yeah? Like I, I saw it proc three different times on three attacks. Like, I mean, like one per attack, but like, isn't it only a, like a 5% chance or something? Oh, I don't know. It seems to be pretty reliable to me in my experience. Do I want to turn one of my beetles into, well, turn my beetle into the electric thing? Hmm. I don't know how that one stacks. Do more damage, I maybe? Honestly, I really like the electric thing. I feel like the beetle will fall off in the long run, right? Yeah, I think so. Unless you're able to stack it. Warhorn. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I think I will too. Sorry, Beetle. That was actually what uh, kept me alive the one time on that void run that we were doing, or the void jail for Acrid. Yeah. Um, because I, there were a couple times I probably would have died, but it got me low and triggered and killed everything around me. And then we also had the uh, the flower that was proccing on that that would heal me back oh, up. Oh yeah. So then it would proc again it, later when I almost died. It's nice that it it goes on those little things, yeah, even though they're not like fully. Yeah. Oh no! I got the worst thing. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, there's a chest here. Oh, yeah, I already opened one up. Oh, okay. I just, this is my second first key. What's the Shrine of Order do again? Um, it does something wacky with, like, your items. Doesn't it just, like, it gives you... It, like, takes you down to, like, very few, but, like, stacks them based on how many total items you have, right? Something like that? Yeah, let me... I'll tap real quick. Uh, why, why would it default to Reddit? Just there's a wiki for this, right? Oh, I might die. Oh, we're fine. Thank you, Beetle. I'm sorry I traded you away. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's interesting. They stayed behind. I guess they for just... a given item rarity tier, an item in the player's possession is randomly selected. All the items of that rarity become the selected item, leaving only one stack of the same item. Interesting. So that's huh. a big gamble, but could make you very powerful. Yeah. Do I do it? <laughs> I mean, I I typically gamble my life away when it comes to stuff anyway on these games. <laughs> what do I what I potentially lose? I could lose the bands, which would be unfortunate, or I could gain a stack of like. 10 bands. I mean, you will lose almost everything. Yeah. But you'll gain a lot of one thing. One of each thing. All right. Oh, it was the worst possible thing. <laughs> It literally oh chose the worst <laughs> items. Ooh, buddy. Yep. Should have gotten that key out of your inventory first. Oof. Yeah. It gave me... So I didn't have the stealth war kit up to a second ago. I oh, picked that no. up thinking, okay, well, that could become one more of a good thing. And... Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I guess I'll just turn all of my keys into slugs. Is there another 3D printer somewhere with something more useful than cautious slugs? Uh, maybe. Well, here's... Oh, that's open. Never mind. Let's see. That's not useful.
I don't really. Oh, guillotines. Yep. Okay, I'm turning all of <laughs> all of those into gu guillotines, and all of these into slugs. I guess. I don't know how well it stacks, but whatever. It's fine. Ooh, I want this. I think that's it, once you're done, uh, converting. <laughs> the gamble. <laughs> it paid off in the worst possible way. I was actually feeling pretty solid up until that point. <laughs> My healing will be sublime, but getting to that point is, uh, gonna be interesting now. Alright. Ah, just hit you. Ready? No, I need to transfer everything into guillotines now. Oh. Because I don't think stealth, eight stealth kits is going to do <laughs> me much good. <laughs> what makes you say that? Uh, you know, just a guess. At least having eight guillotines is going to mean that... Are you kidding? <laughs> it spits it over the edge, so now I have to do all of this and pick them all. Oh my goodness. Oh sweet, look at all these green items. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I lost so many bands. I'm so upset. I might actually you were supposed to be the here. chosen one. Yeah. You're supposed to bring order to the items, not destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely destroyed them, that's for sure. Oh, okay, so I heal almost instantly out of out of battle, which is nice, but <sighs> you ready? Yep. Oh boy. I'm surprised they don't have like. What is this? Is this another invisible thing? Look at that. Cloak chest. Yep. Bobble and a uh, a thing that lets you heal because next to close like close enemies. Which would you prefer? I will take the heal. Now do I take a this Chrono Bobble and turn it into Guillotine as well? Because <laughs> there has to be a point where you pretty much just one shot elites with Guillotine, right? Right. It has to be. Hold on a second. Okay. Steak. Sure. And... Done. <laughs> I'm going to hope 
that, hey, hey, you could have, or I could have 10 quails. That'd be great. Ooh. I'm gonna order, or get a court restraining order for, uh, Lemurians. What would that many quails do? Just like instantly launch you across the map? <laughs> I don't know. With no way Only to one way to find out. No way to slow down. <laughs> I have so little damage now. Teleporter is up there. Eh. Oh, there's just a a vagrant. Huh. Oops. Yeah. With nine guillotines, it's about half health for the elites. If I had any damage, it, it wouldn't be too bad. a shrine of chance if you want it. Okay. And Let's a it. 3D printer for teddy bears. Hmm. That might be fairly solid. I've had a big stack of those once before and it was actually very useful. Um, yeah. There's it a... might be worth more than the the 14 slugs, but I don't know. <laughs> the printer for mushrooms. Um, here's a really expensive chest that you can probably drop your... Oh, yeah. More... I always forget I have that. I barely ever even use it. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna mess up my build even more. Give me an item. What is it? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Wait. Put it inside the circle this time. This one takes forever to hack. Seems you've been through here. I see a bunch of dead bodies. Fungus. Oh, the teleporter's up, up there. Yeah. Three D printer for bandolier. Nothing. Oh. That crowbar seems good. It'll give me at least some sort of <laughs> semblance of damage. Drunken head, alien head. <laughs> Oh, what it's called. Uh, 3D printer for glasses. Ooh. Have you seen the scrapper at all? Not on this map, I don't think. Or at least, I don't remember. Yeah, I'll take a look around first before I indiscriminately pick up, like, trade everything in. Oh, is this another 3D printer? Wow. Tri-tip dagger. Hmm. Let's 
soldier syringe. I probably shouldn't have picked that up actually. Until after I did my gamble. Yeah. Woo. already look up this way? Uh, maybe. I don't know. A feather. Do you want a feather? No, Second. I already have one. One's enough. Is that popular HUD? That's pretty nice. a shredder so I'm just gonna have to gamble I guess just gonna get to the the ten stacks of glasses and then mm. there's a meat hook or yeah. oh, I took my syringe I knew it oh well got that meat hook uh if you want it you can have it it's fine okay. Oh, I picked up 11. Oh, oh no, I'm an idiot. It's fine. I'll go <laughs> get some tri-tip daggers. At least that way I can guarantee that I only have a stack of 10. Right? Right. And turn the rest of these into... Do I actually want to keep some, though, for... It's not taking the glasses. <laughs> okay, there's one. I really don't have any other healings. So that might not be bad. Alright, well... This is probably as good as I'm gonna get. You've turned it around pretty well. Fireworks. Ooh. <laughs> At least I can turn that into an another tri-tip. It didn't fully go through if you want to proc it or, or not. Oh, the shrine? I don't have very... It took what's, another glass. What's the price on it? Like 400. Okay, I don't have that much. Oh, yeah, I do. It's... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get rid of the fireworks. It's taking everything but the fireworks. <laughs> it's taking everything but the fireworks. I hate this so much. All right. I I will not have to go back and replenish all of my. It is legitimately not touching the fireworks. A lot of, uh, a lot of golems out here. 
It took like 10 items before it took the fireworks. So now I have to completely replenish all of my crit. <laughs> At least it only has two choices. Fixed my it. Build is, my build is ridiculous. Ten crit glasses, ten tri-tip daggers, nine guillotines. That's pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, it, I'm, <laughs> I'm liking what it's taking from me. <laughs> Five is good enough for me for now. We love a 50% chance here on the program. I'm coming. Yep. Uh, this. Boink. Oh, there. come on. Here we go. Oh no. This one could be a rough one. At least we have this big rock in the way. Yeah. That's nice. Whip and a neural. I'll take it. All right. The item that I got. Oh. The moon item that I got increases the charge speed, but reduces the zone. Not that I really see much of a reduction in the zone. Hmm. Because I can't see where the zone is. <laughs> Oh, I think it's blue instead of red. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So it is quite a bit smaller, but that's fine. Yeah. Oh, Grandpa. Where? Uh, there. Oh, yep. Do we go over there and try and kill him immediately? I Just think both so. Of us? Oh, that's not the way I thought that was going to go. That's a wisp. He's up there. Yeah. Does he just leave like a little molten ball? 
Why so many bells? <laughs> Do we pop the shrine on the mountain? No, we're going to be going to a different spot anyway, right? Yeah. We want to get a uh, relic. I don't have one in mind necessarily, though. There's one that... Oh, here's, a, have, here's right? a printer for your bands. I can probably spare some green. Let's see. For what? what? Oh. Well, that's one I would have rather kept. Uh, bands. Oh, oh, nice. That's one I would have rather kept. <laughs> oh, no. It was too generous on the previous one, huh? And took it this time yeah. from you. Oh, I phased into the world. Oh, I'm glad that I phased out of the world. Oh. I didn't even see that was a red item until I picked it up. Too bad I'm not really healing all that much. <laughs> What'd you do? Get rid of all your slugs or whatever? Maybe. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Oh, that's some, a lot of greater wisps. Oh. A lot of shrines of combat. Oh! I got hit by a <laughs> an asteroid and it knocked me off and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> fine with the rest of my items. Um, should we go below? 
Yeah, if you know of one you want, because I don't know of one I want off the top of my head. Yeah. My research, I suppose. I just want to make sure I'm not doing one I've already done. Yeah. Um. What are they called? I think artifacts? Artifacts? Okay. Yeah. I can't remember which ones I have. Um, <laughs> do we have the artifact of vengeance? What's that one do? Uh, doppelganger. I don't. I don't have that one. Uh, oh shoot. There's just a bunch of wisps that are coming down to fight me. I need to clear them out before. Swarms can sacrifice dissonance, glass, and command. The ones that I have. Alright. Then let us do. Let us do vengeance. Uh oh. If I read the... No, I can't do that. Um... Okay... Nope, that's not it. Where... Oops. They found their way around. Here we go. Hooray. Your character model was completely broken. <laughs> okay. What is going on here? I have no idea. Oh, is that that's the enemy? Okay, oh. that's my doppelganger. I see. They're they're glowy, sort of. At least uh, I'm crippled, so. Ooh, I. Yeah, I don't like fighting ourselves. Yeah. Did... We didn't drop anything, did we? Does that not give us money need... either? Uh, it didn't give us very much money at all. Hmm. Oh, hey. Yeah, it's spawning normal enemies. Yeah. Oh, so it's going to do the thing where it spawns the doppelganger periodically while we're in here. I see. Okay, that I makes got one. Sense. Oh, they're back. 
knocked mine off a cliff. I don't know if they're gonna die from that. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh, they have the electric thing when they get low. Yeah. Oh, I am almost dead. Uh oh. I am surprised that I lived that. <laughs> See the thing. Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up. I did it without thinking. <sighs> what was it? The crit glasses. Oh. I can't get any more use out of crit glasses. Um, there's a crowbar 3D printer that I can toss it into, though. Maybe. Hey, it took it. Uh oh. That's pretty useful. Have you seen the thing drop at all? No, I haven't seen it. You know, I think our copies are dropping items when they die. Oh. Whoops, that's not good. The artifact is now shooting stuff at us. I don't know if that means we're taking too long or what. Yeah. I looked up top, I still didn't see the thing. It will drop more as time goes on. If you. Probably just spawns more doppelgangers each time we hit it with a thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hey, I dropped that immediately. Nice. You're right, they did drop items. Did you kill them both? Uh, no, but I think when we finished off the thing, they just disappeared. Oh, okay. Alrighty. It was a bit of a pain, but only because yeah. it didn't spawn the... Uh... Oh, approach. Here's, here's the cube if you want it. I do like the cube. <laughs> Alright, I'm good whenever. We love a cube here on the program. Yeah. <laughs> Guess I'll take a minute there.
might be a mistake. But I've done it. <laughs> it's a mountain run. Yeah. I don't want that. Give me good things. That was expensive. <laughs> I give you just white items. Give me another war banner. I now have three. And then uh, equipment that I had previously in the run that I don't want to get. <sighs> Alright, time for darkness enemies. Oh no, I hate those. Damage is fairly solid. The crit and bleed is doing fairly well. Oops. Oh, good, another war banner. <laughs> um, all right. If you've gone up above, then it might just be time to move on. Okay. There's a 3D printer for crowbars if you want that, but... Yeah. Ready? Yeah. There we go. Woo. Oh my goodness. Feathers. <laughs> so many jumps. I have four feathers. <laughs> what is that? I'm looking pop. Okay. We'll have something to scrap later for your other stuff. Yeah. Well, the problem is, if you scrap one, you scrap them all, and I do still want one. Oh, yeah, that's true. Pre-bedtime zoomies. I'm not tired. Oh, already got a lot of money. Okay. I got a lot of elites over here.
spawning around me now. Take back what I said. <laughs> Immediately spawn the four of the uh, rock golem. <laughs> Do you need a quail, or do you still have one? Mm, I still have one. Okay. Oh good, I love having extra charges for my stun ability that I never use. I have so much bleed. Look at all these elites. Holy crap. There's been a lot of them spawning. Wow, a What's red item. Do? Kills reduce equipment cooldown. Neat. Oh, that's good. My equipment has a really long cooldown. Yay! Um, Berserker's Pauldron. Why am I in Fuego? Probably a fire elite. I'm surprised we haven't found the shrine of the mountain yet. Feels like there's been <laughs> one on every every level. Yeah. So sure, there's much left here. I kind of made a quick pass through. Yeah, we're both super speedy now. Where did that just go? I just wasted my thing. Uh oh. Oh, it died before it could. Get it off. Oh, I'm frozen. Is there still one left? Or did it? I wonder if it put the items up above. Uh, there's a couple like right on the shrine, I think. Or teleport, I mean. Oh, yeah. It's the. Pentacles. Squid polyp. Which is funny, but not exceptionally useful. Nope. I feel like that's an okay early run item, but yeah, we're past the point of it being useful for sure. Yeah. 
We're back. Woo. Void crabs are starting to appear. The only positive to them is that they can kill it, everything else with them. Whatever is in their sphere is just gone. Although I don't know if it even gives you money for the things that get killed by it. Hmm. I've never really paid attention to that. I would not be surprised if it doesn't. Orb appears. Okay. Oh. What does that mean? The uh, the robo. Um, halfway there. Ooh, I definitely need to. I need to gamble something for that. And it took a guillotine. All right, well, I'll accept that. Can't you use your uh, buy thing for it? Oh, yep, probably. That's probably hey, I why can't, it, I can't use this. Okay. Oh, that's why uh, buying that with the captain unlocks the ability to hack things, so you can't hack it. You're right. Before you unlock it yourself, essentially. Yeah. And there is a 3D printer for, um, shoot, uh, the scythe. Ooh. And even more crit that I can't use. Is it a printer for crit or just an actual? No, just another one on the, Sweet. On the ground. Is it a crowbar? Yeah, I'll probably take that. Activate it now. Oh no, it's up. Okay. Uh, teleporter's back there. I think that's already everything. We're getting through the levels much more quickly. I wonder. Uh, am I gonna die by doing this? Probably. I was gonna look the, up to see how well the the scythe stacks, but. Might be a bit sketchy with this, these enemies that are spawning. What's it even called? The site? Uh, mm, ooh, that's a lot of fire. Harvester's site. Oh, you need to watch your health, huh? Yeah, I do. Harvester side. Uh, um, that fire golem was real bad. Oh, there's another uh, dude. Provides an average of 4.8. Watch out. There's a void crab right next to you. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, 
eight. Hmm. I really don't know how to explain this. <laughs> so it just increases the amount of healing that you get per, per oh, okay. one. So it would gain gain you a four extra health of healing hmm. whenever uh, you heal from it. Ready? Yep. Oh, good. My equipment is useless against this. There's a void. Um, I see it. Woo! I got launched. Oh, well, that's pretty pretty good, honestly. I I think both of us have a fair amount of bleed, but... Yeah. Oh, is that the... Yeah, I've had one of those for a little bit. It's been procking quite a bit, actually. Because we both have so many statuses that we have now. Do we go through the portal, or do we just... Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see where it goes. It's probably to the bazaar. Oh, right. Did you do a new shrine? I didn't do one. No. Oh. Oh, it's this. Right. Yeah, so we can we can easily skip this. Yeah. We There's really no use in obliterating... Um, yeah. On easy. Outside of Monsoon. Yeah. What is it doing? <laughs> don't, don't get all wonky right at the beginning. Everything's so expensive. Make sure when you drop your thing, you drop it in the right place. <laughs> yeah. Magma worm. Magma? Yeah. He is moving. Oh no, your squid turret died. Ah! Towards me. Everything is a boss. There's nothing spawning back here for me. Oh, never mind. The disc.
I have so much money now. Thank you. A lot of drones just floating around. That's oh, I just wasted all my life. <laughs> You're right over there? Yep. There's a shrine of chance if you need it. Oh, good, a quail. Well, what was in the uh, special one? Nothing yet. It's still hacking. Uh. We didn't want that quail. Antlers. Nice. Oh boy, another feather. Yeah, this can be pretty solid. There's a 3D printer for feathers out here as well. <laughs> There's an equipment um, drone. Oh, yeah. and a scrapper. Oh. Look. Ooh, fuel cell, good. Huh? I got a fuel cell. Nice. Looks like we might be... within the realm of, uh... Yeah. Crocking the... the thing? Yeah. At the place? <laughs> the one time? There's so many darn... crabs, though. Two. Right, well, is there anything worth scrapping? Eh. I'm probably just gonna go to the. Uh... Yeah, I'm ready. All right. I just forgot where it is. Like I always nope. do. Sorry, it's it's right over here. I can only park it. Yeah. Magma worms.
way, I don't want the quail. <laughs> I already have an extra one. I mean, I could suppose I could scrap my quails and and build more quails <laughs> or feathers, I guess. So many. do again uh it'll like damage enemies when you get healed something like that uh, wait isn't that the other antlers i have a different one firing double the strength of healed. healing oh okay yeah you got the other other antlers that i, I got thinking. the good boy antlers i got the dark side antlers is there a grandparent anywhere? I don't think so. Why are you doing me, Ding Dong? I'm over here. Oh, hello. Find something. There's just a couple of parents spawned behind me. Soldier syringe. Oh my. Oh my. Error. I'm not. Need some help. Not, uh, mm, mm, not yet. Eyeball. What's that noise? Oh, void enemy. Oh, and it's an elite. Okay, I'm coming. out all the stops. The game is getting somewhat laggy for me. I don't know why. Yeah, your audio like connection was lag lagging like there too. Yeah. There's any turret random stuff playing around that don't want to buy them, they'll be useless. I'm just not able to buy anything. I can press this this thing twice now and it's Oh, there we go. Hopefully my connection is getting better. Yeah, you sound a little better. Oh, so many parents! <laughs> I don't think I have a way to quickly get over there, so I hope you're okay. No, yeah, we're good. If I had been lagging, I think I would have died, but... I don't need this many feathers. Another void enemy over here. Oh, 
Why will it not let me pick up the, the leech? Alright. Now give me back the cube. Destroy 20 flying rocks in Sky Meadow. Okay. Oh, that's actually a thing? Mm hmm. Didn't do it on purpose. Huh? I will do it. What did it unlock? Uh, an equipment of some sort. I think it was the recycler. Oh, okay. So then I probably already got it. Yeah. of uh, trying to chance on this map. Like, what they have instead of chests all of a sudden. The price of getting into the late game, huh? <laughs> uh, I've probably already done it, I imagine. Because I know that we've got the recyclers before. Yeah. Are we dropping down to the uh, um, other place again? I think I'd rather fight the boss this time around, see if I can't finish him with my thing. Oh, right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. I forgot that this is the place that we have to go to go to the moon. Let me know when you're ready for the... Teleporter. Okay. I mean. Ready? melted. Yep. Ooh, I will take the Oh no. APG. This is great. Oh, apparently. Oh, you're standing outside of it. That's why it's charging so silly. Yeah, sorry. To the moon! To the moon!
Alright. If it weren't for that, I think I was actually a little bit faster than you. If it weren't for what? Your teleport ability. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. What's that? All your uh, drones teleporting to you. Just to oh, keep okay. up. Really not much reason to fight these guys. They have so much health. It's ridiculous. Flying ones will tear you up. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Oof. That was a an elite. That's probably why. Uh, and there's no way for me to res you, huh? Nope. It's really not too much of a reason to continue this then, because there's not anything else that we can unlock. Yeah. It's been a long run. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I guess I just What's find that? something to let me kill me. It's, it's the disc. Oh, there's like a there's like an orb thingy. What, is that? what thing? You got the disc. Well, the no, there's thing. there's the disc, the cube, and then there's like a weird ball thing. The ball thing is... Oh, that's the moon item. Uh... That's what makes the, uh, the thing spawn faster, but... Or not spawn faster, but the charge faster, but mm -hmm. have a smaller area. Alright. Well, that guy's dead. Mm -hmm. Bye. Here, focus on me. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else that I can unlock. You should keep moving. <laughs> like, don't fight back, but at least move so that your mushrooms don't trigger. Oh, there you go. There you go. Just have to ste step in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> we got the trial Killed of vengeance. So. Planet. Yeah, we did. I think I should That'll... do it. Honestly, yeah, that was a good run. I was tired when we started. Yeah. <laughs> well, next time we'll get it. Yeah. We'll get like instantly killed by a an, yeah. an elite. Like those elites, if you're not paying attention, they can just destroy you.